Is the technical conference dead? This was a question that I had posed to Twitter and Reddit just a few days ago based off of a blog I had read. And the argument was the technical conference is dying as we know it and it may not be as useful anymore. So things like IDUG or the DB2 Symposium, they're going the way of the dinosaur because of social media and YouTube and blogs and e-learning, it's out there. We don't have to be in one place any longer. And I was surprised at some of the answers and what you're gonna find from my perspective is I'm a huge advocate of technical conferences. I've been attending now for seven or eight years and as a speaker for most of them. And I find that I get a tremendous amount out of these conferences. But you have to take a look at what's the return on investment, right? Not just for me, this is gonna interrupt my deadlines and workload and I'm going to spend time away from the family. Is it worth it for me to go? And more importantly, the company's gonna go, what's my return on investment? Because you're asking me to shell out a lot of money between a conference fee and flight and hotels and food when we have an e-learning process here in-house. And I'll address those one at a time. From me specifically, I would say I can directly link something like iDug. I can directly link that to a raise, a bonus, a second raise, I can directly link that to finding a mentor who's now one of my closest friends and mentoring others. I can directly link it to contacts that I've made and being able to draw on help at IBM or with a specialist. Being able to say to my boss, hey, this is a hard one. Let me go talk to one of the best performance and tuning guys in the world. That's a good ace in the hole to have. I can link my IBM champion designation or being on the DB2 technical advisory board all to IDUG in some way. And I got so much out of IDUG that I volunteered by year two to give back based off of what I've learned. But what about from the company perspective? The company's going to say, hey, we've got e-learning. We can have IBM come out and teach. And that's true, but if you take a look at things, there's a little bit of a variance. And my first take is on e-learning. E-learning is awesome, especially those places where your company goes out and they buy credits to learn certain things, canned topics. And it's interesting, on the company I currently work for, this is very, very up to date, so the argument doesn't hold water. But in a previous company, I was really excited to see that there were DB2 advanced topics in this e-learning center. But I also found out that the education was over five years old on a version of DB2 that wasn't supported anymore. But then let's take a look at something like, what about flying out to a presentation by IBM or education from IBM or doing e-learning by IBM? Those are awesome. Don't get me wrong, that's actually how I started as a DBA, but it's changed a little bit. Now IBM is farming out a lot of the work to other companies, and you're looking at costs in the range of, I think it was, I have it here, $1,400 to $2,800 for a four-day class on basically DBA basics. But if you take a look at something like the symposium or IDUG, and we'll take IDUG specifically, IDUG is going to cost you around $1,900 if you register early, or about $2,200 if you register late, or the actual conference fee is waived if you speak. And you're going to have over 140 sessions, 140 on different topics from the advanced to the basics. You're gonna have hand-on labs. You're gonna have workshops. You're gonna have special interest groups. You're gonna have networking events. You have this more robust place to go for education. And the people that are talking are people that know what they're doing. These are people that have been in the trenches. They're DBAs, they are engineers, they are architects. You have the DB2 architect at IBM giving sessions on, hey, 
this is how things are changed and this is what's coming up you have talks from people that are saying hey we set up pure scale for the first time here's all the hard stuff we ran into and how we work around it you have performance experts that are talking about this is how we tune and best practices and you will find that after coming back from something like i dug you have a list a mile long to do which i always turn into actionable items and that's where it becomes easy for the next year if you're able to come home and get to work and open five tickets against yourself on things that you learned at iDUG and then over the year you're able to implement them you have return on investment hey I've got my certification hey these are the things that I accomplished this year because you sent me hey this is the item that I saved in the middle of a triage because of something I learned so it becomes easier to make your business case for the next year so I'm going to pose the question to you please leave your comments below or hit me up on Twitter or on Reddit. I really would like to think, or pardon me, I'd really like to see your thoughts on is the technical conference dead? And what if I took it up a level and we're outside of the technical conference, but we are at a higher level conference like Think? Does your opinion change?